it ain't the big old freaking massive fifth gen dually. I gotta tell you guys, I'm disappointed. I am very disappointed. Before we get into the topic of the problem that we have with the fifth gen build, we're gonna get the GoPro mount out of this truck. I just bought this new GoPro mount. It's actually kind of sick. I actually just filmed the same video on um, in this truck with the GoPro, but then I realized that I wanted to film it in this truck because the audio might be kind of crappy in that truck because it's a lot louder. So we're gonna get in the fifth gen here and we're gonna swap cameras. This is kind of just like a video to update you guys on what's going on with the truck. Just to fill you guys in with the details on what's going on with this truck because this truck, I gotta tell you, I absolutely love it, but I've absolutely had the darndest time trying to get everything lined up to make this truck just come together. It's been kind of a pain in the butt. So let's get to talking about the main issue that we're having right now. So the first problem that we had with this truck was the bolt pattern issue. Ram for the first time ever made the dually bolt patterns different than the non-dually truck. So if you have a normal SRW 3500 or 2500 Ram, it is an 8 on 6.5 bolt pattern. However, if you have a 3500 dually truck, I don't know about the 45, 55, anything up from that, but I know that for the dually truck, it's an 8 on 200 bolt pattern, so they change it. Now, I know why they did it. It's for the capability of the truck to actually be able to fully manage and handle the weight that it's designed to pull and they have to go bigger with everything accordingly now the only problem that i had with that was now i had no idea because i saw guys you know with the trucks they're like yeah it's eight on it's eight on six five and this and that and next thing you know it's not eight on six five it's eight on 200 so long story short i've got different front wheels bolt pattern than rear wheels because once you take the front adapter off it's not an eight by 200 anymore it's an eight on six five, but the rear, there's obviously no adapter, so it stays eight on 200. That's all confusing in and of itself, but what we're gonna be talking to you guys about today is the work that we were gonna do on this truck to actually create some more power. So I actually got in touch with our local shop and I talked to them and I was like, hey, you know, like I got this brand new truck. I said, I don't know if you guys have done anything on these trucks yet, but I want to get my truck worked on. I said, I wanna do, you know, the this, the that, the that, the that. I mean, I want to do the whole nine yards. I want everything done, and I want this truck to just freaking run and breathe and put down power like just crazy. Like, I want it to just be awesome and fully done the right way. And they're like, okay, well, we can do that. And I'm like, okay, great. So I took my truck up there, and they said, but let's just look the truck over first because we hear it's the same engine and transmission options except for the you know high output truck but we want to know what all is different 100% in person. So I took my truck up there, they looked it over and they're like, okay, the one thing we see that could be a problem is there's a CP4 pump on the truck. And they're like, we're not saying the pump's a bad pump for the truck because he said that if it was a Duramax, it'd freak him out, but he's like on these trucks, he's like, it's, he's like, it's, it, it'd be totally fine. He's like, but it is different. He's like, so I have to look up some information in the system and get in touch with a few guys and kind of see if you know, what all is required to get all that work done on this truck. And after about a week, I called him up. I said, hey, I said, I haven't heard anything. Do you got, do you got anything for me? And he's like, I got some bad news. Currently, we cannot help you out with that truck. He's like, we don't have, they don't sell currently like a straight kit for that truck for everything to go together flawlessly and just work. He's like, so what you're gonna have to do is probably wait a month or two before we can really get to it. And I'm like, you've gotta be joking. So all this stuff, all this being said, there's another delay in the process of getting this truck done. Now, I don't have like a deadline to get this truck done, but I was just super excited to have it done because you know, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. Reagan and I, like they're like, we're sure somebody's working on it right now. One of the, one of the big companies and brands that do that kind of stuff. They're like, we just don't have one yet. I am excited, but I'm also kind of discouraged at the fact that I'm gonna have to freaking fill it up with DEF again. So this is actually the next day after filming the video in the cab with the fifth gen. And we've got a pretty exciting day ahead of us. We've got Mike Stokes coming to pick up his brand new, well not brand new, but brand new to him, 2002 24 valve Cummins. 142,000 miles, beautiful truck. It's got the uh, the Toyo MTs on it, the Zone 5 inch lift on it, the leather interior, just a beautiful, beautiful truck. I keep forgetting that we did do the 5% tin on it as well. But anyways, we're so we're gonna be taking this truck and we're gonna be setting it up for him so he can 
see, like get the full effect of this thing. Now, when you guys see this video, he's already gotten his truck. By the time you see this, he's gonna have already gotten his truck. So don't think, oh no, you're gonna you know spoil a surprise by putting this video out and then uh, he's gonna know what's coming. He will not see this video until a couple of days after he's already gotten his truck. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this, but we're gonna be taking this truck over to the property. We're gonna be taking the blue truck over to the property. We got the lawn care guys, got their uh, cars pulled up here. So if you guys are wondering with the new vehicle sitting over here every day, um, it's the crew that's taking care of the lawn care business for me. So we've got the blue truck we've got to take over. Reagan's gonna be taking her truck over and then we're gonna be taking the limited 3500 over to the property as well. So we're gonna get to doing that right now. So we're gonna get the truck started up here, but we do also have something to let you guys know about. Some of you know, some of you don't know, but this truck is actually up for a giveaway right now. So every $15 you spend on Loud and Proud gear, information in the description below, gets you another entry to win this beautiful 1997 12 out. This thing starts like a freaking champ. Mike, you got yourself a good truck, man. This thing starts awesome. It just runs so good. Anyways, guys, let's get over there and start to set up this beautiful display of lots of diesel for our good buddy, Mike. Well, we were in the process of setting up everything at the land for Mike to have a great experience picking up a new truck. However, my fiance's 24 valve needs a quick little jump because her radio's having some kind of defect and it won't shut off. And so it's just, yeah, yeah, you know, all the lights are on on the radio and stuff like that and it won't, it won't shut down. So when it sits, it decides to die. So we're gonna get this truck started up go back there and let the limited save the day and get the old Rosing 24V back up and running. Let me show you what we got going on here. She's finishing up her intake and valve cover install, which actually looks pretty darn good. Looks pretty good. But um, so we're gonna finish this up and then, I don't know, I think she said it needs jumped, but we'll see. We'll get this all finished up here and just make sure all these bolts are tightened. She said there's something might be a couple of need to tighten because we had to pick up and go. We had other stuff to do. And then um, we're gonna check those and then uh, see if we need to jump started. So we are in the limited right now and my fiance is following me in her monster 24 valve and we're actually on our way to go and clean up the limited and also clean up um, my fiance's truck so that we can get them all shined up, wiped down, get some tire shine on them, get them looking good so that when Mike comes to pick up his truck in tomorrow's video, it's all good to go and everything looks good, everything looks classy and clean and just really, really nice so that it just really tops off that experience of coming to pick up his giveaway truck. Super excited, I think it's gonna look really good, especially, we have like all different trucks besides Reagan's being, you know, another repeat truck, but pretty much like a whole, all different trucks from like when we did the last reveal like this, it's like a whole new fleet of vehicles again. So it's, it'll, it'll be kinda cool. I think you guys are gonna like it and I think he's definitely gonna love it. So we got a couple hours to get all this done and then he's gonna be showing up. So we're gonna get all this set up, filmed and in place and then we'll show you the final setup before we end out this video. Okay everybody, so we are almost to that point where he is going to be showing up to pick up his truck. Like I said, you guys will see that in the next video. This is just like the fifth gen conversation video with the kind of behind the scenes of us setting everything up here. But so, we got the trucks all washed, Rosine's all cleaned up, washed up, we did some tire shine, wiped down the wheels. The Mordecai 12 valve truck has a little bit of mud on this tire here, but we can't really do anything about it at this point because it's just, we just don't have any way to deal with that right now. But this truck is all clean, polished, super nice, which by the way, you could win this truck. Information in the description below. And then we've got the Dually, the Monster 2019 Dually. Thing is just a tank. We got that parked like that. Now we didn't do it the way we usually do due to the fact that there's mud everywhere and that we've just had so much rain, it has been just crazy. Now you are gonna have to wait until you see the 24 valve dually parked in the barn with the way that we have it all set up. Like the full reveal, you're gonna have to wait until the next video when Mike gets to see it. But this is what he's gonna be pulling up to and this is what he's gonna see when he pulls up. He's gonna see second gens, a big fifth gen, and it's just gonna be like 
an awesome, I believe, exciting moment for him. So super stoked. Hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am to reveal this truck to Mike in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below. Enter this giveaway while you can. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.